I missed this. Hi, and welcome back to Supraland. A year, almost a year has passed since I started my channel with Supraland. And the menu is still weird with a mouse being done by the left stick, but whatever. Uh, I started my channel like a year ago with uh, Supraland and this was actually the ga one of the games that inspired me to even start my channel. And now the first DLC has come out, the Crash DLC. Apparently it's almost as big as if it were a sequel, but uh, as no new game mechanics are coming in, uh, the developer said that he instead did it as a DLC. Also he uses it to uh, train his new staff at uh, working at the game because they are still working on Superland 2, which is on Kickstarter if you want to look at that. So, it's Supraland, the Crash DLC. Let's go in. Good luck, son. It is a sequel. Yay, this will be copyright strikes again. As was it as it was in the uh credits of uh Superland. So uh if this is not with the proper credit music, Varum Varum, uh you will know why. Because I mean this was below ten seconds, I it seems, so maybe we won't have problems. Okay, so we crashed with our rocket. Health regeneration. Ooh. So we start with no upgrades? Finest keepers, no! They took my... Storm shoes. Yeah, jump and stomp. Yeah, yeah. I know still a bit of this. No, he took my sword. Wow, that looks like ours. I have to tell the professor. Uh, X? You should come to Orangeburg. We can help you out. Wow, that looks just like ours. I have to tell the professor. Okay. So these are orange people. Completely different spe people. So it was uh, A to jump, L to stomp. But not on these platforms. Okay. We got our stomp, stomp back. So this is the first thing that's interest, uh, interesting for me. Is there something in here? No. Dump my double triple jump is gone. Oh no, we have to get uh, them all back. Yeah, they always have to do this with uh, sequels. Have an explanation for why we don't have our stuff. Eh? Why are these now more? I have no idea this uh we have to put a translocator ball into that to to go down there okay ah okay this is a bit new okay we have to do it like okay and that's the way we can jump here uh, where are we supposed to go another way? I have no idea. I'll try to jump over there. No! Nope. Okay, this way to Orange Town. Ooh, we only have the jumpy thing. We could shoot Orange Burg, I'm sorry. Okay. Ah! I think I'm seeing what I'm supposed to do. And it shot at the wall. A and L to kill monsters. 
Ah, like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The stomp had a damage thing to it. And we get the monsters. Okay. Is that the guy who stole my stuff? He looks vaguely... F no, that's not the guy who stole my stuff. First kill those monsters and pick up their bones so they don't respawn. <gasps> Pick up the bones so they don't respawn. This is a new mechanic. There were... There were bo bones over here. Aha. Uh -huh. So every single monster now has its own respawn thing. So we're done with the stupid crosses and volcano thingies that you have to stomp to get rid of monster spawns. That's a good thing. I'm missing my double and triple and quadruple speed bonuses. Okay. So that's that. So there's no stuff hidden in these bags. Okay. But can we go and open the bag? No. I have to look for stuff like that. And of course I found some backstage stuff. We could have followed the wire to this. Okay, this opens when we activate the thing uh, where the wire comes from. Health bar. Latest innovation technology giving you visual representation of your health status. We had that in the first game. So we are following this wire now. It leads up there. Yeah, he wanted me to do this. To uh, grab all the stuff. Aha. I regard myself a communist, but for you I'll make an <laughs> exception. <laughs> times two speed, jump height plus, weight times three. Weight times three? Times three is new. Okay. But we can't afford any of those. More bones. There's a plug here. Where do we get a plug? Where do we get the wire that fits there? Purple ball. Get purple ball here to undo this. Okay, to open this fire blue thingy there to activate that wire which is going over there. That's the secret room sound. Still only at 12 coins. Okay, so this thingy gets activated by the blue one, which is... These wires will turn something here and will make this go open. Okay. And up there's some other stuff. I'll try to jump up there. I'm back in the, f in the feel of playing this again. Okay. Aww. Can't do anything here. So the guy wanted me to pick up all the stuff, but are these destru- Yes! That's 16. Where are there more pots? Now I have to look around for pots. If I don't find any, there will now be a fast forward. Okay, there's a jump pad being activated. If we manage to destroy that chest, this jump pad gets activated, which will use uh, will be useful as a shortcut, I assume. And that guy will have to travel to him later. But here he is. Wow, you're all red. That crash must have been really nasty. They are all racist. There are some rocket scientists in Orangeburg. Maybe they can help. Orangeburg is that way. None of us outskirters are allowed back in. Uh, Orangeburg, the sign says Orangeburg is that way, not that way. You're lying to me. Careful around Percival. He took my stuff when I wasn't looking. Probably got yours too. Yeah, that's Percival. That's the guy that's selling me my own stuff. 
Ah, uh, this is the ball that we can carry around to open doors before we get uh, the proper cannon. Uh, can I unshake that, please? Okay, just have to go far enough away. There's a candle here. There's like a glass plane here. We might wanna... Yeah, we might wanna fire that up. Ooh, that's the thing. The jump pad is working towards. We have to burn that. I'm seeing stuff all around. There are guys walking around over there. Let's go in the underground first. There, uh, there is stuff over there that we can... Okay, we need to double jump. For the double jump, we need one more coin. This we have to turn via a lever that's up there. Do you say lever or lever? I've heard both. So I'm not always sure. There's another candle, so the candles will be a mechanic. Let's first talk to the one always running around. Hee <laughs> hee Trash! Out of the way! Okay, there's a dumpster of sorts down here. Okay, these are the babies. Aha. Uh -huh. My secret air area radar, the one that is built into my brain, is still working. So we have already enough to buy one of the things. We don't have the uh, money Sakotron installed yet. Out of the way! We need to have the orange MacGuffin to use that. The red MacGuffin? The MacGuffin. The one that was called the MacGuffin in the first game. There will be a door here that will open at some point. I'm just looking around to find stuff. Up there is someone. And up there is someone too. Okay. So if we go through here, there was a chest. Like right around the corner. Right there. I didn't see you approaching. That wasn't nice. Got both of them. There's like a lower part here. Secret area. Which just gets us one more respawning guy. I assume that we need the bones at some point. Yeah, maybe we need them for completionist's sake. Nothing around here. We want to go to the upper thing. For that we need some kind of double jump. Or this. Stomp radius upgrade. Okay. Yeah, stomp is our only weapon, so it makes sense that we get upgrades early. Okay, this is... Oh, we have to roll a ball through here to get to this guy. Yeah, we can't destroy this. Uh, we needed fruits from the cactus trees uh, in the first... in the in the base game to heal ourselves. Our only way is through here now. Okay, let's go over there. I'm seeing money. More money. Even more money. And we can now go up. Okay, this is to show us this way. Is this permanently activated? I assume so. This will be a shortcut. Hi. Hey. It's good that Big Brother Emil is watching over us out here. Big Brother Passville doesn't care about us.
Okay, we can go inside the structure. Get some more money. We need 34 to afford two things. Over there. Okay, this is timed. We'll need the uh, thingy upgrade. And we can't do this jump, I suppose. Suppose we need the double jump for this. Yes, we would. But this allowed us to go in here, which I was curious about. Okay. Oh, I'm already back in the feel of playing this again. I really like the base game. It was like my second favorite game of 2019. With the favorite game, of course, being... Uh, that's a new thing. Uh, that's a new mechanic. Uh, with my favorite game, of course, being Outer Wilds. Uh, we've seen everything around there. Okay, uh, I assume we lose the bones when we die? That would be a useful mechanic at least. Uh -huh. To open this gate we need a green ball. This is for this door. We need something to weigh this down. Could be any ball or cube. So we'll have to look around here if we find some thing that fits that description. Hmm. I don't see what we can do now. I assume I'll have to run around a bit. Because I didn't see one thing. Uh, we activated the shortcut, which will let us take that yellow ball with, with us, I suppose. Yeah, we permanently activated a shortcut over here. So let's use that, because maybe it's not a shortcut, but actually some other thing. Yeah, we could use that to land on top of stuff that we don't have access to. Careful around Percival. Careful around Percival. Hmm, this is a one-way shortcut, not a two-way shortcut. So the only thing we can buy is one of these 17-point things, which is the jump height plus or the speed times two. So I assume it would make sense if we have one puzzle for each, which will give us enough points to get the other one. I want the jump height plus. So we'll need three more coins. We could use this to jump up there because I assume we can jump from that tree towards there. But I'll try to look around more. We need a bigger pouch. Oh, were we blocked from getting coins by having a too small, too small of a pouch? Might be, but I saw this already. We have 15 coins. Uh, did I block myself from progress? We'll find out. So at least we'll be able to jump up here. Which will let us cut over here. Yeah, he doesn't tell anything new. That coin up there would interest me, but we can't get there yet. We'll go over here. This blocks that one down, but we have a very short timer. I think we need the double speed too. Let's get the few more coins over here. This one and that one. Okay. Yep, we can't do this. Okay, let's buy the double speed. I missed this! 
double speed. You can now run faster and jump is twice as high. Okay, for the other thing we need 40 coins. We can't even get 40 coins. Jump twice as far. I said high, didn't, didn't I? So we'll start from here. And over here. Which allows us to get... Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Air control. I talked about air control and how much I sometimes hate it and sometimes love it. And it's very difficult to get it right in a way where I don't scream all the time. We got our coins from here. Always get the upper ground. Yeah, Anakin. Anakin should have listened to you. Um, so we want to go over there towards the big coin. Mm hmm. Yeah. Air control is a bit of a trouble if I control everything with the left stick and then accidentally press it. Because moving it too much into one direction presses it. So we need to go up here. Just slightly forward. Onto this. I wanted to press X and pressed the left stick. I'm still too stupid to control stuff. So over here. Over there. Over there. This works fine now. I know that I can go over there. But I want to go over there. Too much. If, if things involve too much fiddling around with air control and stupid tiny ledges, then uh, it's the time where uh, I'm not good at it. What the fuck was that? to control my, myself in the air and while doing that because I'm so focused on it I'm pressing the left stick which is stupid and I don't know why I'm doing it but I did it in the base game also so it's just like a thing that I have to relearn how to, how to not screw up how to not screw up I was saying how to not screw up oh. I am wasting so much time being too stupid and trying to do stuff that I'm not supposed to do yet. That... That bone's up there. That will become an archer at some point, petting me with arrows or a guy with a gun. And I want to get rid of that before he is spawning. But I'm too stupid for air control and I have to relearn it. Yeah, I got the bones. That's what I was here for. Okay, we have to run around this again, but this time we are continuing the way we are actually supposed to continue forward. This way. Please don't screw up. How would we get that? Okay, these are like cardboard boxes with these little pins sticking out of them. Interesting. 
Is this forever down there? Okay, we have now a shortcut back to up here to back up here. So we want to go over there to press that button to open that thingy down there, which will allow me to pro uh, to, pro uh, to get the translocator through there. Makes sense so far. So we want to go over here. And as far as I know, these stay permanently open. So let's look if it did what I wanted it to do. Yes, that's a, a thing for the translocator to shoot through. And let's now go over here. We're on the other side now. This door is open by getting energy here. Well, let's follow the wire. This is where the battery goes. Okay, I remember how things generally looked. Oh, okay, we can't go up there. Yeah. I'm an expert in cheesing my way into stuff where I'm not supposed to be, so let's go in there. Okay. This is here. Oh, okay. This will do a thing. If I drop something in there, it will shortly disable this, which will make stuff happen. Which will this... Uh, this door will open then. Okay. On a five second timer. Has everything changed, mate? Or is it just me? Like the rake just scraped across the whole town. The only tool that's moving around here is you. Quit lying and get back to work. Okay. This is glass. We'll have to go through there. Ooh. I always like this kind of puzzle. What the fuck? How did I move? And we got all the coins. Uh, we had 26 coins. I need something to do, to do with my coins. Okay, we've moved completely around this. We saw where the battery is. Uh, battery is. This is where one door is. We can open that from the inside. We, if we fall down that, so we have to get on top of that, which we do over here. So if we go through this, so we'll start from here and drop ourselves in there. Good, blind guy. Good afternoon, young man. What do you think of my beautiful birds? The green bird is there, up there is my pride and glory. I call her Henrietta. Last time we had a storm, the whole place shook half of my poor baby's cages, fell from the ceiling, an awful sight. Get the green bird. That's a red bird. That's a blue bird. That's a whatever bird. A grey bird and another red bird. We have to get the other thing so he moves. If he gets his pride, which we'll have to unlock, he moves and steps away from the button. Oh no, where are my birds? Okay. What does that do? It does something over there. Okay, but we already saw one other solution to another puzzle, which we want to try out directly. Wow, thank you air control. Every game without air control, no problem. Just align yourselves carefully. But this also works. So go in there. Get the frickin' key.
Open this door forever. We have the key. How do we get up there? That's not small enough. Can we stand on top of the wood stuff on the, on the side? No. Can we jump on top of this cabinet? No. Huh? What does it do? We have the key. The birds are there. Ah, jump. Now we still have to jump over there. How do we get that? No, almost. Okay, these are slanted and this is not working. Okay. Uh, I think there's a serious amount of anti she's going on with the uh, how slanted it feels if you land upon that so uh, developers sometimes make shapes have different yeah okay this this doesn't have a hitbox that is as it looks like okay so we have to go over there okay this is not how we do it We can land on this, so... Over there! The green bird. Okay, that's not even a bird. The green bird is a MacGuffin, it looks like. <sighs> okay. Going with the stick all of a sudden to... 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 to something... sometimes clicks it. Okay, that's what's causing my trouble. Um, so we have to get, we have to get that stick, okay? He jumps just once, that's never enough time to, to do something here. Let's look around, let's look around. There's a coin up there. Doesn't matter, we are almost at maximum coins and we cannot get more coins. And it doesn't. We can go on top of the building already. Okay. Let's try that. So over here. Over there. Get maximum coins. So, um, this allows us to shoot a ball in that, which does allow us to do nothing. We activated a shortcut. Okay. Only thing that we can do. Yeah, we need to get uh, we need to get the gun that is in there. We need to get the gun that is in there. And I don't know how because we don't have a thing that is physicsable that we can stand upon. Yeah. Can't stand on that. Can stand on his bed. Can't stand on the cabinet. Can stand on the table. Let's try to stand on the clock or whatever this is. What is this? We can stand on this, so I want to stand on it. Okay. And jump. That's not enough. If we have this removed from there and place it like here, can we now stand on top of it? No, it still doesn't become a physics object. Okay, I'm at a loss here. 
so I'll be fooling around. Whoa. Okay, that mechanic. Ugh. That does. That gives me a headache. Um, okay, I'll be fooling around off screen, and once I have it, that I can reach up there to get the uh, to get the cannon uh, to get the gun that we need to continue. Once we are that far, uh, once I have reached that far, I will uh, continue with episode two, and I'll see you there. Have a nice day. See you tomorrow. I think this was a good first impression of the Crash DLC.